I just remember looking in the mirror, seeing him come in, like just full speed coming, and then all of a sudden, everybody was knocked out. For the first time, Felicia Miller is sharing horrific details about the night Britt Reed, son of Kansas City Chiefs head coach Andy Reed, crashed into her car, leaving her daughter Ariel critically injured with a traumatic brain injury. And I was like, oh my God, he's about to hit us, and then boom. Did you have a second to try to protect your daughter? No, it just happened. Else? No, I couldn't because it happened so fast. Miller speaking exclusively with ABC News just days after Reed pleaded guilty to driving while impaired as part of a deal for a reduced sentence. Anything to say before court this morning? Uh, no, thank you. The maximum prison time he'll now face? Four years. He's just getting a slap on the wrist. If anybody else had did that, if we did that, any of us hit his car, being drunk, hitting his car and injured one of his kids, we've been in jail. I think the family is upset because they perceive a different system of justice for those who have privilege and those who don't, those who have privilege and those people from the victim's community. Reed was an assistant coach for the Chiefs at the time of the crash in February 2021, just three days before his team played in the Super Bowl. EMS arriving on scene, we have one child possibly seriously injured. Reed's pickup truck slamming into Felicia's car and her cousin's, which had broken down near the team's training facility. Both cars were pulled over on the shoulder. Three vehicles involved, dark colored sedan, a silver SUV, and a different vehicle. One vehicle is flipped. According to a search warrant application obtained by ABC News, an officer on scene reported smelling a moderate odor of alcoholic beverages emanating from Reed. He told the officer he'd had two to three drinks and was on the prescription drug Adderall. This image from the wreck shows the back seat where Ariel was sitting, totally crushed. I don't hear my baby at all, and I just hear Julie crying, and I'm just like freaking out, freaking out, and then finally uh, we find her because she's buried under the seats because, you know, all the seats done broke in the car. She was just trapped underneath some seats in yeah, the car? Yeah, yeah, and then when I when I got her out the car, she was stiff. Like, if you see, like, this, my arm, your arm's just stiff. She was just stiff like a board. Ariel rushed to the hospital, spending nearly two weeks in a coma. When she did finally wake up, what was that like for you? Oh, it's like, oh my God, my baby, God heard me, my baby woke up. I was really relieved, but it was so, she, she didn't, she didn't, at the time when she woke up, she didn't know nothing. She didn't know who I was. So as I'm trying to touch my baby, like, hey baby, she was, you know, moving away and her She didn't eyes, recognize you? No, she didn't recognize me. Felicia says Ariel doesn't remember the crash and her daughter who loves to dance has had to relearn many things. Details about Ariel's condition are limited because of a legal agreement. In November, the Chiefs worked out a payment plan for her medical care. How's Ariel doing? She's seven now, and yeah, she is back in school. That was a bit of a relief, but it's still, it was still difficult. It still is difficult sending her back. Ariel's road to recovery is long, but her family says she is improving every day. They wear these Ariel Strong shirts in support. She's been strong through the whole, the whole last almost two years. From her, she woke up through the coma and, you know, being strong through the hospital till now, just being strong. And Britt Reed's attorney sent us a statement that reads, in part, Mr. Reed has accepted responsibility for his conduct. He continues to be remorseful and has apologized to all affected. Reed will be sentenced in late October. Victor Okendo, ABC News, Kansas City.